All right, welcome to MikeScottBaseball.com. Today's instructional video has to do with the pickoff move, making a move as a righty from the pitcher's mound to first base. Okay, I'm going to go over some of the basics here in one second, but one thing I want to make clear, pickoff moves don't always have to be to get a guy out. Good pickoff moves are used to keep a runner close. This might keep him a half step away from stealing that base, a half step back towards the bag. Maybe he gets a later start uh, when it's a chance to turn two. Okay, all these things come into uh, play with a good pickoff move. Uh, just because you're not getting the guy out does not mean that it's not a good pickoff move. You just try to keep him close and just put a little bit of fear in their, in their heads, okay, especially to the, the coach on the other team. You show a good pickoff move, he won't, go over, he won't steal as often. Okay. Let's go over the basics, okay? First of all, you got to get in your set position, okay? From this position, you're getting your signal from your catcher, okay? This, you take care of everything from your catcher first before you look at the runner. So you get your signal from your catcher. Next thing that you do is you take a look at your runner. Okay, by taking a look at my runner, I can tell already that that's someone that I think I really should keep close, okay? Whether I try to get him out or not, doesn't really matter. I want to keep him close. So I've made up my mind. I want to try to throw a ball over there. So I come up into the set position. Now a couple things about this position right here. Okay? You can be squared off towards your target, which means your shoulders line up towards your catcher, or you can be partially open, which means rotating your foot out a little bit. This gives you a little bit quicker start going to first base because your shoulders are already, already partially turned. The only thing about this, you have to make sure that you close up if you're going to go back home. Okay? But you can definitely be partially open. There's nothing wrong with this. Okay? So you come up into your set position. Now a couple things. There are three types of moves we're going to talk about. A dummy move, your best move, and the quick move. Okay? Let's start with the dummy move. The dummy move is meant to look like your best move, but it is not. Okay? With the dummy move, what you're doing is you're taking longer steps. Okay? Your feet are moving in long steps, okay? Your arm is moving down, back, and making your throw. You're making your arm make long motions, but you're doing all of this at almost full speed, okay? A dummy move, a lot of people think is just this little soft little move. That's not a dummy move. That's just because you're just throwing a ball over there. You don't like what you see. But to set a guy up for a scary move, you need a dummy move. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take big steps, feet, feet, okay, off to the side, long width between my feet, my arm's going to come down. So let me show you a dummy move right here. And the last thing about this is I'm going to throw it hard, okay. I don't throw over there and throw it soft. I want something to look like my best move, but is not. So I got my signal from my catcher. I look over, I see that that's someone I want to keep closer. Come up into my set position. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move strong here, I'm going to move hard and throw it hard, but everything's going to be long. Now that pop in the glove from a first baseman is very important. When a runner goes back to the bag, he does not go back to the bag watching the ball come. Okay, he goes back to the bag looking at the bag. So if he hears a bam, okay, he knows that, that maybe that was the best move. Okay, because the guy threw it hard. When you throw a ball soft, it's not the best move. Again, dummy move. Long leg movements, long arm movements, throwing it hard. Got my signal? Check my runner. Up to the set position. a good move right there to set a guy up. Now, the quick move. Here we go. I'm sorry, not the quick move, your best move. Okay, quick move is after this. Best move is this. Everything stays the same. You get your signal from your catcher. You look over. You want to keep that guy close. You come to your set position, partially open, okay, to be a little bit quicker over there. Okay, now, everything shortens up. The feet do not take these long moves anymore. The feet, basically, this foot just turns a little bit to the side. This foot does not take a long stride, it just takes a short stride right here, a little bit wider than the shoulder width apart. The arms, same thing, everything shortens up. Now watch this. This is where the ball is. I came up to this position right here. Okay, some guys set low, which makes this a little bit longer, but if you set high right here, as I turn, watch this. The ball's right there, the ball's not even going to move. Feet, there I am in my throwing position. I learned to throw a ball from my ear, basically, they talk about, from right there. 
This quickens everything up. You go from that dummy move to your best move right there, right there. Okay, you learn to throw from this position, everything gets quicker. So here's what the, uh, the best move looks like, okay, at full speed. Okay, get your signal. Look at your runner. Come up to this position. Quick feet, quick hands. Now, if you take a stopwatch to both of those, you will see a definite difference. Okay, it's good to take a stopwatch and take a look and see how quickly you can get a ball over there. Now, last move that we're going to talk about. This one is very effective, especially for guys that like to jump off the base or they like, as you come up into your set position, a lot of runners will take like an extra half step. They're going towards second. Here's what the, the quick move looks like. From here, you get your signal, you look over to your catch or your first baseman, okay? You decide that you want to get him. Now, if you've already gone over there a couple times and he, he's still getting back, but he's just barely getting back, one of the ways to still get him or to really scare him is as soon as you get to this point where that front foot lands, when you're coming up into this spot right here, then you turn and you go, okay? And it's with the quick move again. As you're coming up, if you're in motion and making a turn to first, it's much tougher to pick up than a guy that's at, at a standstill, okay? So the quick move is done in motion right as the front foot lands. So here we go, signal. I look at my runner. Okay, it's a much quicker move to pick up. It's much more difficult because you're in motion. One more time, as soon as the front foot lands, my hands are at the high set position and I just make a turn. Okay. All right, those are some basics to getting a good pickoff move. One last thing, if you want to try picking a guy off, vary your times over to first base. Now, the more that you hold on to a ball and a guy wants to steal, let's say he has the steal signal, okay? The more you hold on to it, the more a guy will tend to start to itch just a little bit more. Too many guys come right up here and then they just go over. And they come up here and they just go over. If you come up here, let them itch, let them itch, let them start to think about going, and boom, you turn and you go. Okay? All right, well, thanks for tuning in to MikeScottBaseball.com. Video instruction, uh, this is the pickoff move right here. Uh, we'll talk about going to second base some other time, but for today, work on your first base move, work on these three moves, and you'll be surprised how often you'll get a pickoff or how often you scare guys away from stealing it all. Okay, thank you very much. Please check back soon for more videos.